Anchoveta, known around the world as anchovies, are the raw ingredients in products we use every day, from canned fish to fish oil to fish meal. Anchoveta is a resource that is abundant in the South Pacific, especially in Peru, thanks to the presence of the Humboldt current, which lifts the nutrients and minerals from the seabed to surface water that support the abundance of fish and marine mammals. Peru is the fourth largest producer of uh, fish products globally as a country. 75% of that catch is from anchoveta. And this brings to the country approximately just short of $4 billion. So Peru is not only a very important country in terms of fisheries, but fisheries is actually a very important activity for the country. The Peruvian anchovy fishery is the largest fishery in the world that supplies anchovy oil. There's a lot of fish oil from a variety of different sources, salmon, cod liver oil, etc. But anchovy in particular has a very high amount of EPA and DHA, which is what makes them a very important source for the dietary supplement or human nutrition industry. Omega-3s are so important for human health. The nutrients EPA and DHA are what's found in omega-3s, which comes from fish oil. And there's been decades of research. There's more than 50,000 published papers on EPA and DHA with benefits for heart health, brain health, eye health, and maternal and prenatal health. So omega-3s are very, very connected with increasing the health of the world's population. So anchovy oil is found in dietary supplements all around the world. And because it's so important for humans to get EPA and DHA found in these supplements, Peru plays a very vital role in connecting what they are doing to the human health for the world's population. There's a number of things that other fisheries can learn from Peruvian anchoveta. One of the things the anchoveta fishery has been quite innovative in is using their fisheries vessels, the commercial vessels, as a way of collecting more information about the distribution and abundance of the fish. Most of the fishing vessels have very high quality uh, electronic fish sounders on, on board that they use to find the fish. So you have, in effect, a large number of research vessels uh, traveling around the waters of Peru counting anchoveta. And that's a model that could be emulated in many, many other fisheries. Management of Peruvian anchoveta assures its sustainability in two primary ways. The first is there is scientific survey every year to determine what the population's status is. Is it going up? Is it going down? That then feeds into what's called a harvest control rule that adjusts the catch in relation to the abundance of anchoveta with a floor that if the anchoveta population falls below any level, all harvesting is ceased. And those are the critical elements in sustaining uh, a wild fish population. Anchoveta fishery has also been criticized as being not sustainable because it has environmental impacts. But if we were to not harvest anchoveta and replace it in the aquaculture system with crops, it would largely be from soy production, and it would take 30,000 square kilometers of new soy production in order to replace anchoveta. And that 30,000 square kilometers would come largely in tropical rainforest, which is where the expansion of soy production has been coming from. And the loss of 30,000 square kilometers of tropical forest is a much bigger threat to global biodiversity than the impact of reducing the anchoveta population on the marine predators. We have invested more than 500 million US dollars in technological innovation in the plants toward reducing emissions, improving wastewater treatments, and using resources to produce the same amount of finished product with less raw material. We have also reduced our fishing fleet in half and implemented several programs and mechanisms to reduce our impact in the sea. This high level of environmental management allows us to operate without significant impacts on ecosystems 
and in harmony with the surrounding populations on an extensive coastline of more than 3,000 kilometers. The best evidence of this reality is that we have been maintaining healthy anchovy biomass for more than 15 years now. Self-regulation is a way of promoting sustainable strategies as well as making commitments beyond regular obligation. The Sociedad Nacional de Pesquería have been promoting the signing of clean production agreements between the associate companies, the ministries of production and the ministries of environment. The objective is to implement the strategies for the efficient use of these used goods and solid waste management, thus marking a milestone towards a circular economy in the sector. Other efforts to create a circular economy include the establishment of a composting plant that has mitigated 191.2 metric tons of CO2 per year. Through our alliance with NGO Burreo, we have already recycled more than 1,000 tons of nets. Unfortunately, we live in a world where 750 million people go hungry every day, and more than 4 billion people a large proportion, 40% of the world's population, cannot afford a healthy diet. Aquatic foods, fisheries, uh, aquaculture have been seen as part of the solution to feed the world. And in fact, we are consuming now 20.7 kilograms of aquatic products, all of us, every year. And that compares to 9 kilograms in the 1960s, despite a growth in population. So aquatic foods are already contributing significantly to our nutritional improvements. But more is needed, and that is because we actually estimate that by the year 2030, 600 million people will still be insecure from a point of view of food. Therefore, we need solutions. We need solutions that work. Fisheries and aquaculture work because they use the best of nature, provided that is done in a sustainable manner. They have a lower environmental footprint than, for example, land-based animal production systems. In the case of fisheries, of course, we don't need to feed them. So they are essential for a future without hunger and poverty, but we have to do that in sustainable ways. The Iron Navy program was established in 2020 to combat anemia in children under three years old. The program is based on an alliance between Sociedad Nacional de Pesquería and the Ministry of Health and uses education, communication and social mobilization when interacting with communities to combat anemia. At Sociedad Nacional de Pesquería, our mission has been to become the world's leading fishing and aquaculture industry while protecting the health and diversity of our rich marine ecosystems. Fisheries continue to face a variety of environmental challenges. In Peru specifically, the temperatures of the marine ecosystem vary widely. Sudden warm or hot weather anomalies occur often. This interferes with the behavior of the local species and their migration patterns. Another issue is the importance of minimizing the impact of fishing on the ecosystem. For this reason, we create the Salva Mares program and we assume commitments with the United Nations in the last two United Nations Ocean Conference. These Salva Mares were trained to identify and release marine life and to collect scientific information to establish a database of the local marine ecosystem. As you can see, we take looking after the environment seriously and work hard to manage our impact. We have estimated in FAO that about 600 million people depend on fisheries and aquaculture for their livelihoods. So we need to secure the sustainability. Fisheries is here to stay, but it needs to stay sustainably.